the plants for 30 seeds. Amazing, the plants for the 30C have arrived and I ordered these from Aqua Essentials and I'll leave a link for Aqua Essentials down in the link in the description. Um, they're not sponsoring this video or anything like that, it's just a company that I really recommend. I use them quite often, especially for plants and things like that. But why don't you dig into the box and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got our plants and boxes. You can see most of it is Tropica, and I think these even might be Tropica wherever they are, but we'll take a look at them now, and I'll just run you through what I've got. But I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see what I'm thinking. So all these are gonna be green plants. I think they'll be highlighted nicely with the Axe Sky G, which really bring out the greens in plants. So we've got some S Rappens. I think we've got three of those. Yep. Um, then we've got some Bogostoma erectus. I think we've got three of those. Now I know one of my subscribers suggested this plant and I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. Haven't used it before. Um, then we've got some Rotala rotundifolia green. I think we've only got two of those because that's all they had in stock. All right, and then the second tray. Okay, so what else have we got? So we have also got three Monte Carlo. Another Pogostoma and Erectus. We've got, we've got all the Monte Carlo. Yeah, five Monte Carlos. Uh, we've got some Blixer Japonica as well. Um, I've got two of those, I think. Um, the Palensis as well. We've got one of those, I think, yeah. And we've also got some Hydrocotyl as well. We've got two of those. So everything I've ordered is here. And like I said, it's all green. Let's unpack pack these because they're probably going to need to go into a tank just for the time being. Ah, there we go. What are these? Oh yeah, Hygrophita uh, Compact. So I've got three of those. Never used those before, but thought it was something a little bit different. I'll have to add those into the 45P until we plant them. And then these should be the Cryptocarium Parvas, I think which are really nice small crypt. Um, I've used them in the ADA 45P and I have been quite keen not to try and use the same sort of plants on most of the escapes, but I think we're only duplicating on these and maybe the S Rappens. So I don't want all the tanks to look similar in the end either. Ooh, nice. Can you see those? So we've got three of those and those, will, I can probably break those up into a few pieces and then we can scatter them around the rock work and that sort of thing. So really happy with those. So I'm gonna dump those in the tank now and we'll crack on with the rest of the video.
Okay, so it's finally planted. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's predominantly, or well, or just green plants in this tank, just because I want to highlight the, that color with the ADA light. Now, I do like other colors of plants as well. Like you see the tank behind me, there's oranges and reds, but I think they can all look very samey if we try and do the same thing. So I'm keen for all these setups to look different to an extent. I'm trying to use a variation of plants, so I'm not using the same sort of plants as I always use. So. For those of you following the channel, we will be putting a new racking system in there with a few more tanks. I'm looking at maybe three, two to three ADA 60p. So we'll be doing those very soon. So if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, I'll make sure you are. Now this tank was pretty easy to plant just because it's such a small tank. Now I probably did order slightly too many plants. I think I ended up with about 15 Tropica pots, which was probably a little bit too many, but it's always a better to have too much than not enough, I suppose. But I have used a couple in the 20 gallon tank as well. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link and proper card up here so you can go and check that out. Now, Monte Carlo is the carpeting plant that we've used in this setup. Now, I do want that to go all along the front and lead up into the path. Now, I love Monte Carlo and I love it when you get a carpet at Monte Carlo. We have done this in the past on a uh, low tech system as well. So, if you want to go and see how to deal with Monte Carlo without CO2 highlighting and, and that sort of thing, you can go and check that video out. But I love it so much. But it's one of my worst plants to plant. I hate planting it. Whereas dwarf hair grass, like you'll see in this tank, very nice, you can make little nodes with it and straight in, no problem, no hassle. Whereas Monte Carlo, it's a bit like whack-a-mole. As soon as one comes out, you've got to push it back in and another one pops back out again. So it can be a little bit frustrating. Although I would recommend the powder Tropica substrate, that is a lot finer and is a lot easier to plant into if you are having the same issues as me. But you don't want to hear me chatting rubbish, you want to see the tank filled up. So why don't we get that done now and we can crack on with the rest of the video. Okay, so it's finally filled up. So what's left to come? So we gotta add the CO2 system on there, we've gotta add the filtration, as well as add the fish and the shrimp, which are already in there. But I will be releasing videos regularly on this setup, so if you wanna make sure you don't miss out, then hit that, subs hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out. But for those of you who do tune in for the reptiles and that sort of thing as well, I will be getting some reptile content out there for you in between as well. So if you've got any suggestions on things you want to see or anything that you've been missing out on, then make sure you hit me up in the comment section below and I'll try and get around to your requests. But I'm going to let this tank grow in now. I want to just try and get a full build video, which I've already started editing and putting together and just waiting on it to grow in a little bit more so I can take some final shots so it can look nice at the end of the build after all the effort and time we've put into it. But I wanted to show you guys this tank sooner than the, any new subscribers or people happen to come across that video. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions on this setup or anything about it, then as always, let me know in the comment section below. I'd recommend you go and check out my merch as well. It really helps out the channel, helps make more builds like this, improve the filming quality and blah, 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 you know, the rest of it. And as always, I'll leave links down in the description for anything we talked about today. If you want to go and recreate something yourself, you can go and do that. If you use the Amazon links I provide, it does give the channel a small commission, which goes straight back into this room and this channel, and my light has just died. <laughs> so go and check those links out, get something similar for yourself. Like I said, it supports the channel, helps us continue to push forward, and doesn't cost you any more. So support the channel, 
think you're going to go before the rest of their lives die, and I'll catch you in the next video.